Hold on there, going pause and take it up because if it thinks say it now will get recorded today, it's a different, it's a, it a make a sad mistake. So you see, you're smoking you, you must smoke. May I beg you, when you come, just lend me a light and all. You all we eat, you draw we by with ear, what we buy with pants waist, we you know, put with your sit down flat and ground and say, listen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Fedora. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've not subscribed as yet, I'm gonna invite you to just catch up on some old videos, go and see what I've been up to before the break. So I was going on good, you know, going on with myself, and then I had to take I had to make a decision to focus on some other pressing matters, and I'm back then um i decided that i wanted to i could have resumed like three weeks ago however i started having some storage issues started having some device issues the the almost year old phone decides say it has got stuck on the apple logo and it now come off for days on and it got to the point where i was hell-bent on returning it and then it dawned on me that I needed, I have resources available. I have people around who are able to troubleshoot. I may not be as techy, however, there are people around me that are techy. So I asked one of my team members, Ruhan, if he could look at it for me. And he did something and the phone is here. Then another coworker, Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> Rochelle could not have it with me because like she was so over me because of the fact that I was hell-bent on returning the phone and she was like be patient be patient the phone is processing the phone is going through it and she said all right we're not doing this video you know we're not doing this video but we're here now we have storage <laughs> so a while ago I decided to this morning I wanted to my first video to speak about yeah i've not done a faith talk since i've been here and wait hmm. <laughs> you know so i'm gonna do it this morning and this is what i am not going to do this morning hmm. i'm not doing it now because the word i go out this morning i guess it is gonna go out this morning and how ironic it is that the same thing oh Sita that I wanted to talk about is a similar thing that happened. Hold on there, go and pause and take it up because if it thinks say it now will get recorded today, it's a different, it's a it a make a sad mistake. <laughs> you know so, <laughs> I'm coming out and I'm going to look for it, I'm going to take it up because this is a similar this is the exact reason why God has to show up. Hold on. So how is it that things can in your car? Drop on your car first. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> Hey, them so trouble that set light rain, you know. Trouble that set light rain. So, oh God, I'm working on it. I'm working on the fitness part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go. So a few weeks ago, I think it was the second weekend, second or third Saturday in August, I had a job to do. We were contracted, so for those who don't know, I'm into the core. We were contracted, and we means the party hookup and Web's Decor were contracted as the service providers responsible for decor for this couple. Beautiful bride, lovely groom. And the request in talking to the bride, 
The conversations leading up to the big day, you know, you get to know the bride, you get to know the couple, their likes and their dislikes, their preferences and, you know, must do and what are nice to do and, you know, we decided to throw in a few things that would have been, you know, would, that would have surprised or been the icing on the cake for them. In the conversations, we discovered that the bride was not a lover of anything florals. If it's floral, it has to be tastefully infused because she no want a bag of flowers at our wedding. She no want a bag of flowers. If you can put one or two or so, but the lady does not want to have anything. No, woolly for flowers, flowers. That's not her thing. Though the decision to get to what she ultimately wanted, and you know how brides are, yes you know how brides are we take a long time because this is our wedding day and it has to be perfect if not perfect as close to perfection as possible so she was very clear we decided that we were going to do ostrich feathers instead <laughs> yes ostrich feathers and we sold her the idea and she liked it yeah so leading up um, leading up, I, because the rentals, the things are coming from me, I didn't have any ostrich feathers and I tried my very best to source them locally. It just was not working out. It was not working out at all, at all, at all, at all. However, the show must go on. This is what we sold the lady and this is what we're going to do. The day, the week before, because it did take some time to get to that point close to two weeks into the wedding because that was the time i think we decided that this is going to be it ostrich feathers we're going to order them i had to order them on amazon and i was going to use my shipping company one of my local shipping companies and the the one i specifically chose one because usually if something gets to them in miami on monday it's in jamaica by tuesday and most times i'm in a position to pick it up Fine. I ordered and it got there as per usual we were fine we were on track everything was fine I didn't have to worry about anything because I had everything else we were just waiting on the wedding day would you believe that of all the of all the items that could have been lost or packages that could have been lost or misplaced or anything it had to be my package so i would have sent other things to the shipping to this particular shipping um company and i received all of them every single one of them but the ostrich feathers was nowhere to be found none at all we start get anxious this is the lady's wedding day what am i gonna do how am i going to tell the lady that i'm gonna have to resort to flowers on her wedding day the day before we say you know when you say you know, <laughs> i got twip twip yeah because i would have confirmed with danisha that all is well yeah i can't disappoint people the day before we went to the church to start, you know, you know, start putting things together for the, the, the ceremony. And we were there. No ostrich feathers. I leave the church and got a shipping company in the night because I know that they have packages. Oh, the thing said received in Jamaica. That's what it the, the update kept saying received in Jamaica so usually when it says received in jamaica it would be you know be ready for pick up next so them said i'm gonna get some package tonight and it mo it got in it yada 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 so we go and make sure i'm gonna tell them i'm gonna explain what is happening yada 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 and them no them know me the next morning quick o'clock we are the shipping company for them because they would have sorted the packages from the night before and they submitted you know they brought it to the other location 
no ostrich feathers, none at all. Mighty God of Daniel, what we are going to do? The wedding is at 3 o'clock and it's 9. No wedding, no ostrich feathers. It's natural to start to get anxious, but we never start to get anxious yet. We we started calling the so the, so we have been checking on this package from all week. Persons have been helping me them can't find it. But you know, we think say there was a package that was not cleared, so a shipment that was not cleared, so maybe it's in that. We started to call all the locations to see if it was sent there inadvertently. Nothing. We go over the other location, everybody I try to find every other thing. No package. I had to make the call now. So I called Anisha. And Anisha said we still have time she was rather calm usually I am the one that is calm I'm usually in control so I always expect the unexpected and there's always a way out but in this case because I'd started the work from before I knew that there was no other way out because the ostrich feathers them not there the pompous grass them not there they're not here so therefore what i wanted what we wanted to execute could not have been executed because them just not there okay i decided to make the call as i told as i said before and she said it's fine we still have time i left there and i called i started calling other places I started visiting other shops because my have to get something that is close to or something that can or the actual ostrich feathers none at all none could be we got everywhere I could have in Kingston there was none I was driving down halfway tree road after making the last stop and I legit heard be anxious for nothing but because I want to have my own way I just never calm I continue with my anxiety I continue for how about the feeling and everything I <laughs> tell you a long little story time but it's worth sharing so there was some stuff in my car that needed to be used at the church so Danisha had said before going down to the church I needed to stop by Pegasus and collect a few things to take down take to the church so and um, they will be focusing on the reception and I should stay I can stay at the church it, you know we always ensure that we have persons that we have both areas covered that was my site my duty for the day all right fine I went to the reception area and I see them setting up nice and fine and you know the area of command and you know Good work in progress. I'm a feel proud too, you know, because the colors complimenting and the work. I come here, man. It feel good, man. On my way, um, before I left, Danisha said to me, "When you, they, they, they will need a lighter to do the. Um, they're gonna need a lighter to, you know, the to do the the ceremony, you know, to, you know, the candle light. So they're gonna need a lighter. Fine. Okay." no problem the way all my brain not even there and i was supposed to collect some stuff to to take down there the way my brain not even there and to judana go downstairs meet me down i'm a drive off leave that because my brain never did there work never did that go on so good and whatnot whatnot lord jesus i'm gonna come with me i'm gonna come with me i reached to the gas station <laughs> the color theme is the theme for the wedding is lilac white and hints of gold and i go to the i'll go to two gas stations and all i could find were lighters that were like this yes these lighters this was the closest to one that never have no holy power things and things on it so i make sure you know the process right here so fix my fingernail because yeah i'm gonna do this week but until then we do so we don't do ash fingernail yeah, I always ensure to you told them that actually and whatnot. <laughs> My daughter is gonna have a fit when she watch it, watches this video to see how I stopped in the middle of the conversation and gone on somewhere else. But anyways, this is important. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, I stop at the gas station and nobody not on a lighter. 
other than the rasta things them this can i use but anyways i bought the lighter i bought this one because it better have some than not stick up in oh no one knows say i went into the gas station i bought the lighter and i returned to the car me not go nowhere me and the lighter in the car as in i come in the car and i put down the lighter and when i got to the church the lighter was nowhere to be found as in me strip the car upside down and look a look at twist a turn and move the seat them and do everything <laughs> and the lighter just could have find so I was asked to buy a lighter. May finally get one lighter because it better may have something than nothing. Bring the lighter out the car. And when it was time to use the lighter, there was no lighter. What can go so? <laughs> Back to the story now. So, I went to the church and I started asking, you know, everybody that I saw, if they had lights or whatnot, they said they not. Then I got a call from the person, the my church sister who had, you know, suggested that her, you know, recommended us to her family member. And she said they wanted, uh, there were six or seven chairs that did not have on any chair covers and they would prefer for them to be covered. These would have been the chairs that the musicians, the musicians would have been seated on. Of course. So... We had used up everything that we had and I had to send to I had to request the survey. You know how to go rent the different the bride day. I might be no one not know what a place and this is what she asked for. So I, I decided to call somebody who I've not spoken to the person in a while. When I say a while I mean had good good deep deep conversation. It's like in passing. This is somebody that I that I knew from my childhood and he works closely with my cousin at um, Webb's Closet and uh, Carl Robert. Yeah, Carl Robert. I'm a Carl Robert out of the blues, clear blue sky, because I couldn't make it there. I'm a Carl Robert, I'm a Sir Robert, which you there. I know him run taxi. I've never called this man in my life. I personally have never called him, but my cousin uses him. Um, he assists my cousin and them, them good. And out of the blues, I call him and I ask him where him there and him say him there pin on. Okay. And him now do nothing. And he, I asked him if he could go to my house, pick up some stuff for me first. Him do that. Then I call him but now I ask him if he, you know, where I go get the, the chair covers and him go for them. On my way down, on his way down, I said to him, Robert, you, me know say you're smoking you, you must smoke. I beg you, when you come, just... Lend me a lighter now, yada yada. I'm saying no, so for the I'm not smoking on. <laughs> I was surprised, but he was like, hmm? Then I said to him, On your way down, can you do something for me? Maybe you buy one lighter for me. When you come down. He said, No problem. I was at the church going on, still asking for lighter just in case. When Robert showed up, he came and I, no, I went outside to meet him and I told him to come inside to see, you know, some of the jobs, some of the things that we do and make him know that time for married and second don't know because they're going to go long, go long, so I'm not going to go on. I'm going to call Robert to come in and then he'll come out and he'll sit and say, <laughs> oh, remember the lighter. Huh? The theme for the wedding is purple, lilac and white. This was the lighter. Huh? This lighter was what Robert bought and he brought to the church. As simple as this lighter may be to you or to a passerby, it was this lighter that made everything right for me on the day. Tears flowed. I am just thinking about it now and let me tell you, tears flowed i sat down i can remember sitting down in the church and my face struck like the tears were just streaming down and i legit heard it is well 
it is well. This sense of calm that overcame me, indescribable. And it was at that moment I knew everything must come together and will work out irrespective of how chaotic it was. How chaotic it is. How chaotic it may seem. God has a plan and everything will work out. It was no coincidence that my package, that that package was lost. It was no coincidence that Robert was like Robert never have anything for do. It was no coincidence that he was available to even make two trips for me the day. It was no coincidence that I went and I, I couldn't find nothing else but this. Like, the, oh, the feel like the day they just pull apart. However, God assured me that I got you. So, my word to you or anybody who is streaming, no matter how the chaos come, no matter how it feel like everything will fall apart, everything, things have to fall apart sometimes before we get a hold of ourselves. There's no, there's no, we think that some things are perfect, they're not. Perfection in the day. day. But God is the greatest orchestrator of all things and he has a plan for everybody and everything. I'm used to being in control so much. I'm used to being at the head and at the helm. But on this day, he allowed Danisha to be that rational person. On this day, he allowed somebody else to take the lead. On this day, he allowed somebody to, you know, be the level-headed one. To let me know and assure me that, yeah, you have a competent... Well, I always knew that my team was competent. Yeah, I always knew that, you know. However, on this day, yeah, Fedora, them have you. And me, Daddy Jesus, my have you too. There are sim God shows up in some of the simplest forms. And there are times when we get so caught up into the emotions, the earthly emotions, that we miss them. I've not removed these two instruments from the vehicle because I know I wanted to do a vlog with it and as simple as they are, they remind me from time to time that everything will work out. I know you, I knew you before you were born and you are here at this time, yeah, at the right time, don't worry about it. If you don't have it in the natural, I will send help. I will send people. People are working together unknowingly, unknowingly for your good to ensure that you're able to advance the kingdom, to ensure that you carry out your God's given purpose. That's God's promise. Remember the story with Moses and he was asked, was tasked with delivering a word and you know, and him start finding all sorts of excuses. He started to find all sorts of excuses. And him say, But we can't do it because of this. And we can't do it because of that. And we can't do it because of this. And I'm not worthy. And yada, yada, yada. I'm a stutter. And this and that. You know the story with Moses. Moses and his stuttering is me. <laughs> like I, I. There are times when I. You know, I have a lisp. And a lot of people don't realize until I talk about it. But. I can say, and you more have to do it, and you have to do it. No worry yourself, just present yourself. I have ear and ear and love chat. Him have him for, him words, him mouth full with words. I will fill his mouth with words, and he will know if he say, Yeah, me send me. If you have ear and the road there, you know, worry about it, and you more have to go. So I'm going to run, hide, skim, do it. It never did ever work out because he was the man for the job. So. There are times when, you know, we're happy to get a little shake up there. And I'm happy that it happened at that time, on a very important day. A day that I will never forget. Lord Jesus, I lay there passing our earphones, you see. Oh, Jesus. You see, some people are blessed with a good ear, you know. Anyways. 
my daughter doesn't like when I do this. But at times, we're gonna need a little shake up. We're gonna need a little wake up call. When, for my question, say, we can't just go along, go along, go along, go along, go along, go along. So, God, they bow. They must all we eat. They must draw we buy with ear, what we buy with pants waist. You know, put with his sitting down flat ground and say, listen. A me in control. One done the boat and a me. One, one smuddy in control. So if you can relate to a time in your life where God showed up in the simplest of form and you were able to catch it, you can go ahead and share it in the comments. If you know somebody who is, you know, going through some things and you feel like all those are tumbling along and the world depend on them shoulder and they're tired of being placed on the strongest soldier list, God's got you. He will send help. He will prepare the table. He will bring the food. You don't have to do it. He will place you on the on he will place you in the hearts of people. He will place you on the minds of people. And now when people want to say no, them can't them, them have to say yes. Because in that moment, God has already placed them in that position. They have no other option but to say yes. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you were blessed. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll try to do a few vlogs in the car in the morning because we're very early. And when I get home in the evening, it's a challenge to really go set up this and set up that. The word can go out anywhere. I can do my vlogs anywhere. I can share, you know, good, yeah, I can share anywhere. So thank you so much for joining. And until next time, the word is love. Mwah.